Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at the last EDC video of 2019. Today is December 29th, so just a couple days away from the end of the year. And I just wanted to, you know, do a quick update just to kind of show you guys what I've been carrying. Now, uh, as you know, uh, my EDC tends to stay relatively the same. Uh, if you follow my channel and you follow my videos, you can see that some things do change uh, because I am either testing out the equipment or um, just because I have quite a few of that particular item. So things like knives, flashlights, um, sunglasses, things like that. I tend to rotate them in and out of my EDC, but I do carry a one of particular type. So this is just kind of like what I was carrying today. Uh, and it's a pretty good example of, um, you know, what I carry on a regular basis. Uh, some items are staples in my EDC. I always carry these items. And for the most part, it is what you see here. Now this video is going to be two parts. The first part is going to be me just going over the items that I have here on the table and just talking a little bit about them. And then the second part is going to be where I turn the camera around and I'm in front of the camera and I'll show you guys how I carry that. So I'll put in each item into the different pockets as I'm, um, you know, kind of getting dressed for the day. Uh, the reason that I wanted to do that is because I know a lot of times people watch these EDC videos and they see all the gear and they're like, how do you carry all that stuff on you? Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you that to you guys. Now, um, one caveat is this is all the items that I actually carry on my person. Now, I do carry an EDC bag most of the time, whether I'm going to work or, you know, out of town and stuff like that. So I do have certain items in there. So if you don't see it on the table, um, it doesn't mean that I don't carry it. It's just maybe I'm not carrying it on my person. So things like a multi-tool or some paper or something like that, I always have that in my EDC bag. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get some of the boring stuff out of the way. We'll start with my keys here. So I I, I like to keep my keys pretty minimal and for the most part I don't have any keys in my keychain and that's because I don't have anything that actually requires a key. Uh, my house has a, um, a pin pad lock that, to the front door so I don't really need a key for that. Um, I don't need uh, you know a, a key for my car because it has a key fob so pretty much just I just have three items here and they're actually on this little dangler here. I actually picked these up on Amazon and they are awesome. They are from Keysmart, and this is great because it lets you hang your keys inside of your pocket, so you don't have to worry about them dropping all the way down. And then each of the items here is on an individual uh, little kind of crab claw here, so that way if I need to remove something, I don't have to um, worry about you know like um, messing with the split ring or anything like that. So I have my key fob to my car. Uh, I always have a Swiss Army knife classic on me. Um, the little tools that are on there are invaluable. Uh, they come in very very handy. The tweezers the uh, little scissors and even a little screwdriver and things like that to tighten up little uh, screws that might get loose or something like that. And then I just have this little um, flashlight. This particular one is from a company called Factor. Uh, this is the Ghost 130. And it's just one of those two-step flashlights where you twist it and it'll come on at a low output and then you twist it again and it comes out at a higher output. It's very, very small. It is rechargeable. Uh, I just uh, gotta make sure that I remember to recharge it ever so often, but I just like having that on there as a kind of little last ditch effort in case my main light isn't working. So that is my car keys, set that off to the side. Um, I wear an Apple Watch. Uh, I have, uh, obviously I have an iPhone, iPad. Um, I work on a MacBook Air to do my um, editing and stuff like that. So I'm definitely in the, um, the Apple ecosystem. So obviously the um, Apple Watch it comes in handy for me. I get my notifications on there. So I always have that on me and I just kind of take it off every night and I put it to charge and I just have this band on it. I actually don't even know who makes this band and a little um, kind of bumper around it. So this is the Apple, uh, Apple Watch the Series 4. I didn't feel like I needed to upgrade to the Series 5 uh, just because even though um, I I do like Apple stuff, um, you know, it just if, if it's a necessity, then I'll go ahead and do it. But I didn't think like any of the new features were necessary for the way that I use it. So that is my Apple Watch. Um, and speaking of Apple devices, here is my iPhone. This is an iPhone 10. And again, um, I haven't upgraded to 
any of the newer models just because I haven't needed it. Uh, I don't really use my phone um, for, for videos anymore. I do it more for pictures. I have my own dedicated video camera that I use for that. So um, the camera is, is good enough for what I need it for on this phone and then just everything else that you can do with it. I do have that uh, Pitaka case on here, the Aramid Fiber. I just love these cases from them. I have videos on these, so if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and look those up. But this is awesome. It has a kind of like a magnetic uh, woven in there, uh, just uh, fiber, I guess, and then it attaches to the magnetic dock in the car, and you're able to charge it that way and stuff like that. So really, really cool. So that is my iPhone 10. Um, I always wear a pair of sunglasses, or I always have them with me. Uh, this one just happened to be the one that I was uh, wearing today. This is a pair of fuel cells. Um, this particular one is in the matte translucent blue frame color, really, really cool. It's like a see-through blue color. And then it's a prism sapphire iridium lenses. So it's a really nice kind of blue package all the way around. So this is the one that I was wearing today. And again, I always um, try and wear some sort of sunglasses. Uh, about 95% of the time, they are Oakley's. Um, I have this. A lot of times people ask me about it. This is kind of like a feel-good um, kind of boo-boo kit that I always carry on me, especially with kids. You know, they're always getting scraped up, scraped knees, or they have a stomach ache or a headache or something like that. So I just have a couple of alcohol prep pads, some headache medication, some stomach medication, and then some band-aids in there in this um, kind of little document um, wallet here. And again, this is one of those that's designed to have a lanyard and you put your ID and stuff like that in there when you go to conventions and whatnot. But it's a, a thicker, kind of tougher plastic. So I can just drop this into my pocket. And as you guys can see, it's very, very thin. And then I always have that on me. I do have a full size um, first aid kit in my EDC bag, but this is, if I'm not carrying my bag around and I just need to something real quick, you know, I got a headache or something like that, I can pop some of those headache medication and I'm good to go. So I always carry that with me as well. Um, I always carry a handkerchief also. Um, this is just a plain white handkerchief. I know a lot of times people carry bandanas and stuff like that. I just kind of like to be minimal and small. So just a plain white handkerchief. This is perfect for pretty much anything that you would use a handkerchief for. Blowing your nose. Uh, if you wash your hands and there's no paper towel to dry them, you can go ahead and use this. And like I mentioned again with kids, you know, it's always good because they're getting runny noses or, um, you know, their mouth is dirty or something like that. So if you don't have any napkins, you can go ahead and use your handkerchief and take care of that. Um, moving down, uh, pen. Uh, I always try to carry a pen with me. This is um, one of those pens that I recently reviewed. This is a polka pen. Um, it's very, very small, very lightweight. Um, this one right here is in this kind of urban camo. And basically, you just open it up, turn it around, and you're good to go. This is obviously a cheap alternative to a um, Fisher Space Pen. It's a very similar form factor, but it is uh, a lot cheaper. So if this gets lost or if it doesn't work or anything like that, I don't have to worry about you know purchasing a whole other one or refills or anything like that. I can just um, I bought quite a few of these and I can always have them with me. And then again, it is very very small, but it does turn into a full size pen, very easy to write. So you don't get the pressurized cartridge that you get with the um, Fisher Space Pen, but I don't really find myself writing um, you know like upside down or under water or anything like that. So this works just fine. That's my EDC pen there. My wallet, um, I do review wallets quite a bit and um, I know, um, you know, I just kind of switch them out as I'm reviewing them and stuff like that. This particular one is one that I always gravitate back towards. Um, it's a, a company called Digital Armor. And I just really like the form factor of this. So I have my two most used cards out there. In the back, it has a window with my ID and then in the middle, it just has a little spot for cash and then some cards on the sides and stuff like that. So again, really thin form factor. Um, it is uh, very comfortable in the pants. I do carry it in my back pocket. So that's another thing that I get asked, uh, do I carry it in the front pocket? I don't, I just, I've always used, I'm always used to carrying it in my back pocket. So I do that. Uh, down to last three items, which are these three. I'll start with this one here. This is the flashlight that I've been EDCing again. I, um, you know, I test out flashlights and I use quite a bit of them, but I always like to have uh, kind of small form factor flashlights. This is the A6 from WowTac. It's a new offering from them. Uh, depending on when this video is up, I actually have a review of this. So this might come out before this video or maybe afterwards. So if you guys are interested in finding out my thoughts, 
definitely go ahead and uh, look for that video. Um, this is a really small flashlight. It's an 18650 uh, rechargeable flashlight, but it's putting out, uh, it has a turbo mode of 1,400 lumens. So 1,460, I believe, lumens. So a lot of output coming out of this one little light. So I've been EDCing it and uh, just really, really love it. So again, that's been my EDC flashlight. Then my knife, again, uh, I rotate through different knives. This is actually just the one that I was carrying today. This is the Spydercore Leaf Leafstorm. Uh, I actually got this in a trade from, um, from somebody, I forgot if it's YouTube or Instagram. And um, I know the, uh, the person has contacted me, I think twice already, asking if I'm still using it and uh, if I'd be interested in trading it back. And I'm not, I, I love this, this little knife. Uh, I gravitate towards it even though I kind of use a bunch of other knives and test them and stuff like that. This one is one that I always um, find putting back in my pocket. Just uh, I love the form factor, I love the size. Uh, again, very minimal when it comes to like these two to have them in my pocket. And uh, I just clip it on there and I go about it. So really, really love that. Uh, and I love the uh, the coloring here. So again, this is the Spyderco Leaf Storm. And then last but not least is my firearm. Uh, I do EDC a firearm. Um, it's this one right here. Uh, this is uh, actually a recent purchase, a couple of, um, say two or three months ago I purchased this firearm and I've been carrying it ever since. Um, I actually repurposed my remora holster that I was using with my old EDC firearm which was the Glock 42. Uh, I decided to move up to 9mm and I picked up the uh, SIG uh, P365. Uh, this is a really really awesome gun. Uh, it's very small. Uh, obviously nothing in the chamber. It is empty. No magazine. Um, it's very small. It's you know, just about the same size as a 42 or a 43, uh, but it does uh, carry 10 rounds in the magazine, which is uh, which is definitely great. Fits really nice in my hand, and I love the fact that it fit into the same holster that I was using for my 42, which is this Remora holster, which I've been using for uh, quite a number of years. I love this. Um, I, I really don't like the clip. I like to be really, really um, slim when I carry it. So I just, I just slide this in my pants and it stays in place. And then um, here's the magazine. And then uh, I actually carry a spare magazine. I don't have it here in the uh, on the table, but um, I carry the other magazine, which is the flush magazine. This one does have a little bit of, an ex of the pinky extension there. So that's the one I have in the gun. And then the flush one, I just carry it in my pocket. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys how I put on all this gear in the morning, uh, pretend like I'm, I'm gonna go out uh, for the day all right guys so this is what you would normally find me wearing on a regular daily basis which is uh, just a t-shirt and some jeans now these jeans are by far my favorite jeans these are actually the defender flex jeans from 511 um, I've been wearing these ever since I got them a couple years ago I actually have a video on these but I love the way these jeans fit but I also love the versatility that they offer so you have um, you know quite a few pockets so you have your standard two pockets right in the front and your standard two pockets in in the back but then on the side you also have some pockets that are primarily designed to fit um, like rifle magazines in them but you can use it for anything and then you have your fifth coin pocket right in the uh, in the front here like you would in normal jeans but it's actually wider and deeper than the one you would find in normal jeans so um, you know ever since I got these uh, these have helped me kind of distribute my gear especially because if you're like myself and carry uh, a lot of gear on you then the, these these type these type of jeans because I know there's other companies out there that make them but these type of jeans are definitely a good thing to invest in now one last thing that I wanted to show you guys I didn't show it in, in the previous portion of the video is my belt um, um, I actually use a belt from a company called Grip6, and I love this belt because it's a, it's a very minimal and low profile. It's a minimal form factor, low profile. Um, there is no belt loops or anything like that. It just kind of feeds into the back of the belt, and it keeps a very thin form factor. I don't even know if you guys can make it out, but um, that's why I like uh, wearing this particular belt, especially for EDC purposes. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and throw on the gear the way I would normally do it uh, as I was going off for the day. So first things first, I'll go ahead and throw on the watch um, again this is the Apple watch the fourth generation that goes right on the wrist there and then my sunglasses I uh, usually if I don't have them on I'll have them on top of my head so uh, something like that um, we'll go with the wallet so the wallet just goes in the regular back pocket right there and then the handkerchief just goes in the other back pocket that's pretty much the two back pockets that's what I would normally carry there now the uh, little kind of first aid kit that goes into the 
magazine pocket on the left side here. So the handkerchief is in the back and then the magazine pocket right there is where I have the um, kind of first aid kit, feel good kit. And then my flashlight actually goes clipped onto that pocket as well. So um, again, it's very easy to get to. So it's right there on the side. It's not all the way in the back where the handkerchief is, but I can easily grab that if I need it to go ahead and use it. Now the phone just goes drop right into the front left pocket there. So again, uh, as you guys can see, uh, I have half of my gear on. You really can't make out anything. My shirt is covering pretty much everything. So, you know, it's, it's not being bulky or anything like that, attracting a lot of attention. Uh, next is the keys. Uh, as I mentioned, I have that little dangler on them. So what I do is I just clip it on the outside of the pocket right here. So it just goes clip right there. And then that allows me to actually clip my EDC knife right next to it so I can carry that in the pocket. Uh, I can still have it right there and reach down and get it if I need it. Uh, from there, the pen that actually goes right into the pocket. There's nothing else inside of the pocket because there's no keys or anything like that. Uh, kind of, you know, dangling all the way down. They're on the side, uh, hooked onto that dangler so they're not all at the bottom. So I can easily put my pen right in there. And then I just have the magazine and that actually goes, that'll be my spare mag. That actually goes right into the fifth coin pocket there. Again, this one is larger, so it will accommodate, um, you know, larger size magazines. So Glock mags and things like that, but it'll easily accommodate my P365 um, spare mag right in there. The other item that I have is the microfiber cloth for my glasses in case I need to put them away or clean them. And that just goes in the same pocket as the phone. That way it's not scratching the screen or anything like that. It's actually cleaning it as it's inside the pocket. Last but not least is the firearm. And again, this is the SIG P365. Now this is empty, so I can go ahead and show you guys how I put it on. And it just goes into that remora holster and I just drop that right in here. I appendix carry it, so it goes right there, right into my waistband. And then I just throw my shirt over it and, and I'm good to go. So as you guys can see, all the items that I had from the first portion of the video are now on my person and you can't really make out anything. The um, I love how the, the handgun conceals, you can't even tell that I'm wearing it. And then I have everything else right accessible at hand. I still have a spare pocket right here. So in case I needed to put something else, um, that's something that I've always tried to do is just have a, a little bit of spare room. That way if I pick something else up or I wanna carry a secondary knife or something like that, I'm able to go ahead and have a spot for that and it's not interrupting my EDC. So uh, I hope this video was good for you guys to kind of see how um, somebody that has that much gear normally carries it on a regular basis, but um, where to position everything. Like I mentioned, having a good system, which starts with the belt, and then having a good pair of pants is, is key, especially something that has multiple pockets. Now, if you have pants that maybe have cargo pockets, you're able to do so as well. I usually tend to gravitate towards cargo shorts when I'm wearing shorts, and I'm able to distribute my gear that way as well. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind. So there it is. This was a quick update of my EDC. This is the last EDC update for 2019. Uh, I hope this was beneficial for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.